When it comes time to select a wood glue, should you spend a little bit more for the ultimate or for the best quality of wood glue, or are pretty much all wood glues the same? Today we're going to be testing several different brands. Additionally, we're going to be testing to see if any of them are really that much better than just plain Elmer's all-purpose glue. Additionally, we're going to see if Flex Glue can keep up with the competition. We'll see which wood glue has the most tensile strength. We'll see which brand has the most shear strength. We'll see which wood glue has the most tensile strength after it's been soaked in water for 24 hours. We'll find out if the strong strongest wood glue can support the weight of a tractor once it's been repaired with the wood glue. For the tensile strength test, I'll cut 2x4s into 8 inch pieces, then number both ends of each board, then drill 6 holes in each board, then install one deck screw at each end of each board to ensure the boards stay intact during the test. Then I'll cut each board into two pieces. Compressed Air did a great job removing the sawdust from each piece of wood. Each brand of glue was applied to six samples for the tensile strength test. The wood was repaired, maintaining the original orientation and wood grain pattern. Drywall screws did a terrific job applying a clamping force. After 28 hours of cure time, the drywall screws used for clamping the boards were removed. In order to test wood glue, I had to make some serious <laughs> upgrades to my test set up. I went ahead and bought a much larger scale. This is capable of 11,000 pounds or 5,000 kilograms. I did a lot of welding on the steel that will be used to pull these boards apart. We're going to begin the test with the tensile strength test before it's been soaked in water and then we'll come back and test the shear strength. Costing $3.97 for 16 ounces is this Tight Bond Original Wood Glue. Professional strength, interior use. Surfaces must be cleaned and dry. Joints should fit tightly. Apply a heavy spread of glue to surface and clamp for a minimum of 30 minutes. Do not stress joints for 24 hours. The first Tight Bond Original sample provided 4,500 535 pounds of tensile strength. That's enough to lift most cars off the ground. The second sample was down a lot to 2,525. The third sample was only 550. Costing $5.47 or $1.50 more than the original Tight Bond is this Tight Bond 2 Premium Wood Glue. It claims to be the number one selling formula. Water resistant, interior, exterior. The instructions for Tight Bond 2 are the same as Tight Bond Original. The first Tight Bond 2 sample provided an amazing 5,670 pounds of tensile strength. That's enough to lift most SUVs. The second was down a little 2,115. The third was up some to 3,325, but the test sample broke or it would have been higher. Costing $6.99 or about $1.50 more than the Tight Bond 2 is the Tight Bond 3, the ultimate wood glue, rated number one by the pros. Waterproof, exterior and interior. The directions for use for the Tight Bond, Tight Bond 2, and Tight Bond 3 are all the same. The first Tight Bond 3 sample provided 4,020 pounds of tensile strength. The second was up some to 5,370. The third was down slightly to 4,950. So Tight Bond 3 did better in this test than Tight Bond Original or Tight Bond 2. Costing $4.87 is this Elmer's Carpenter's Wood Glue. Bond stronger than wood. Sandable and paintable. Interior use. Elmer's Original did great at 4,960 pounds. The second was even better at 5,960 and just about destroyed my new crane scale. The third was down quite a bit to 2,950. At $6.78, is this Elmer's Carpenter's Wood Glue Max better than Tight Bond 3? Waterproof and stainable. Bond stronger than wood. Resist heat, mold, and mildew. Sandable and paintable. Easy water cleanup. Interior and exterior. On the first sample, Elmer's Max provided 4,370 pounds of tensile strength. The second was down slightly to 4,070. The third was down a little more to 2,450. Costing $3.29 for 8 ounces is this Gorilla Wood Glue. It claims to be incredibly strong for the toughest jobs on planet Earth. It's designed for both indoor and outdoor use. Gorilla delivered 1,580 pounds on the first sample. The second was up quite a bit to 4,145. The third was back down to 2,210. Costing $4.84 is this Elmer's Glue All Multi-Purpose Glue. So why use a wood glue when you could just use their strong formula, which dries fast and safe and non-toxic? It's supposed to be perfect for household repairs, craft projects, and more. Elmer's Craft provided 525 pounds of tensile strength on a first sample. It was up quite a bit to 2,415 on a second. 
It was up again to 3580 Not bad for a craft glue. Costing $12.99, the most expensive product we'll be testing is this Flex Glue. It claims to bond, seal, and repair. Strong rubberized waterproof adhesive. Super strong bond, instant grab and hold, and works underwater. Excellent for construction. Flex produced 650 on the first sample. It was up slightly to 750 on the second. It was down slightly to 555 on the third. So fairly consistent results from Flex. So Tight Bond came out on top, followed by Elmer's Original, then Tight Bond 2, and Elmer's Max finished fourth. Since this test involved incredibly high stress loads on the wood, it resulted in some data outliers. If one removes the lowest performing sample from each product, Elmer's Original came in first, Tight Bond 3 in second, Tight Bond 2 in third, and Elmer's Max in fourth. For the shear strength test, two by fours were cut and then cleaned with compressed air. Each brand of glue was used to make three samples. A jig was used to ensure the deck screws for clamping the boards together was in near perfect vertical position and centered. After 28 hours of cure time, the deck screws were removed. For the shear strength test, I'll insert the board into the holder and put the board into position in the tester and the test will begin. Type on Original did great at 1,250 pounds shear strength on the first sample. It was up a little to 1,685 on the second. It was down slightly to 1,260 on the third. So fairly consistent results for Tight Bond Original. With Tight Bond Original, the glue failed in some areas and the wood failed in others. Tight Bond 2 actually did quite a bit better than Tight Bond Original on the first sample at 1,825 pounds. It was down slightly to 1,655 on the second. It was down slightly again to 1,585. Type Bond 2 did a great job and it definitely seemed stronger for the sheer load than Type Bond Original. Type Bond 3 delivered 1,545 pounds sheer strength on the first sample. It was up a little to 1,835 pounds on the second. It really crushed it on the third at 2,235 pounds, doing much better overall than Tight Bond Original and Tight Bond 2. Tight Bond 3 definitely seems stronger than Tight Bond Original and Tight Bond 2. It did a great job of sticking to the wood. We see wood failure, not glue failure. Elmer's Original did great on the first sample at 1,675 pounds. It was down slightly to 1,375 on the second. It was up a little on the third sample to 1,465. The Elmer's wood glue experienced a little bit of glue failure and a little bit of wood failure. Elmer's Max delivered an impressive 2,050 pounds on the first sample. It was down slightly to 1,935 on the second sample, but still much stronger than Elmer's original. The third sample was the best at 2,175 pounds. On average, Elmer's Max is in the lead over Tight Bond 3, but can Gorilla outperform Tight Bond 3 and Elmer's Max? Elmer's Max definitely seems like the strongest glue we've tested yet. Very impressive results. Gorilla delivered 1,635 pounds on the first sample. It was down slightly to 1,560 on the second. It was down 5 pounds to 1,555 on the third. So very consistent results from Gorilla. Very consistent results from Gorilla. Definitely not as strong as Elmer's Max or Type Bond 3. Is Elmer's craft glue just as good as wood glue? 1,395 on the first sample is pretty impressive for a craft glue. It did nearly as good at 1,275 on the second. It was up slightly to 1,535 on the third. So craft glue isn't quite as good as wood glue, but still did an excellent job. Elmer's craft glue actually did fairly well, putting up some pretty impressive numbers. Flex glue delivered 825 pounds on the first, 755 pounds on the second. It remained at 755 pounds on the third, so very consistent results from flex glue. Flex Glue is doing a great job sticking to the wood. It's experiencing cohesive failure. The shear strength test seemed to deliver fairly reliable results with Elmer's Max coming out on top and Type Bond 3 finishing in a very close second. Type Bond 2 did remarkably well at 1,688 pounds and Gorilla finished fourth. Now that's a lot of damage for one day, but we're not done. I'm gonna go ahead and soak the rest of the test pieces in water for about 24 hours and when we come back, we're gonna see how water affects each product's strength. This wood has been soaking for right at 24 hours, so we're gonna begin the testing.
Wow, Tight Bond Originals seemed unfazed by 24 hours of water exposure by delivering 3,350 pounds of tensile strength. The second sample was way down to 1,165. The third sample failed before the test could begin, exposing the risk of using a product that is not designed for continuous water exposure. Tight Bond 2, which is not designed for continuous water exposure, only delivered 540 pounds on the first. It was up to 1,495 on the second. It was up again to 3,695 on the third, so definitely better than Tight Bond Original. Tight Bond 3 is designed for continuous water exposure and delivered 1,230 on the first. It was up some to 1,525 on the second. It was up again to 2,205 on the third. So very impressive job by Tight Bond 3 with all test samples delivering well over 1,000 pounds of tensile strength. Elmer's original, not designed for water exposure, did great on the first sample at 2,915. It was way down to only 20 pounds on the second. It did great on the third at 2,430. So water exposure hurt the reliability of Elmer's original glue. Elmer's Max, which is designed for continuous water exposure, did great on the first at 3,575. It was down quite a bit to 1,050 on the second. It was up again to 1,575 on the third. So Elmer's Max, like Type Bond 3, provided over 1,000 pounds on all three test samples. While Gorilla is designed for exterior use, it's not designed for continuous water exposure. It did great on the first sample at 3,535. It was way down to 535 on the second. It was up quite a bit to 2,160 on the third. Elmer's Craft Glue was at 1,110 on the first. It was up slightly to 1,180 on the second. It was down a lot to only 15 pounds on the third sample. Flex is designed for continuous water exposure and achieved 705 pounds on the first. It was down quite a bit to 185 on the second. It was up again to 845 on the third. While there are many ways to try to analyze the results, one way to look at water exposure testing is to consider the risk of failure instead of just focusing on the average of the three test samples. If one looks at just the lowest performing sample, Type Bond 3 and Elmer's Max showed their value by delivering over a thousand pounds of tensile strength. Other than Flex Glue, none of the other products are designed for continuous water exposure and obviously it caused significant reliability concerns. I'm going to cut this pole in half and repair it with the strongest glue that we test. We'll see if it can support the weight of a tractor. We're going to repair this pole using some Elmer's Max glue. We'll put this pole to the test in 24 hours. It's been 24 hours, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the deck screws from this pole, and then we'll see how much weight it can take. I'm really impressed that the wood glue actually held up for a short period of time with the weight of the tractor on top of it. You can see there's an area here where there doesn't appear to be any wood glue. This is a pressure treated pole and I'm sure that probably had an impact on the glue as well. The tensile strength testing on these wood glues really put the test equipment to the test and nearly destroyed my new crane scale. Very impressive strength in numbers from these wood glues. With that being said, I highly recommend Type Bond 2, Type Bond 3, or Elmer's Max. For continuous water exposure, Tight Bond 3 or Elmer's Max are definitely the way to go. Both of those are very good wood glues. All the videos on this channel are from viewer recommendations. So if you have an idea for a future video, I hope you'll take time to leave a recommendation. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please take care and I look forward to next time.